Hi, I'm your host, DOS350, and I would like to welcome you to a very special show that I'd like to call Salt Review. Now, in this very special edition of Salt Review, we're going to be looking at David's kosher salt. Now, let's just jump straight into it. Make sure to smack that like and bell button for all the latest news and shocking developments when it comes to kosher salt. Exclusive on DOS 350 Legit. Make sure to tap that follow button on my Twitter. Alright, let's just get straight into it. Today looking at kosher salt. Now let's get a good look at it close-up style. As we can see here, it's kosher. It's David's kosher salt. And it's just so goddamn kosher. And we're just gonna take a look and see what the packet reveals to us. Excuse me, only on DOS to be fit. Alright, now let's just jump straight into it. It says here, kosher salt. The versatile gourmet salt of choice for kosher cooking, holiday time, or any time. It's got a little symbol that says up. It's the U, so let's try and enhance on that 350. Up. Moving straight along. It's got a little sticker on here that says, imported by Exclusive Food Houses 181 to 187 Chasterville Road Moorabbin, Victoria 3189 Imports at efh.com.au So, we got here a net weight of 16 ounces That's just fine, it happens to be 453 grams That's beyond the scope of this video now moving on, there's no doubt that it's David's, um, we got some nutrition information, I guess we'll do that, it's nutrition, information, alright, I'm just trying to navigate this salt shaker, make sure to smash that like and subscribe bell button if you like to navigate the salt shaker as well. Alright, let's just see here, nutrition information. David's kosher salt, nutrition facts, serving size, well that's one quarter of a tablespoon, in brackets 1.5 G's, servings per container, about 302. I like how they say that, about 302, it's like god damn, can they just say 300? 302, it's like if you're going to say about, you might as well just say about 300. It's like if someone told me, oh, it's about 302, it's like, god damn. About 302, was it? But that's beyond the scope of this video. Moving straight along. Let's just get straight into it. Make sure to smack that follow button if you like about 302 as well. Alright, calories, zero. Fat calories, zero. Total fat, zero G, zero percent. Trans fats, well that's zero percent. Sodium, 590 milli Gs, that's 25 percent. I guess that's daily value. Total carb, zero. Protein, zero. It says here, percent daily values, percent DV DV excuse me it's based on a 2000 calorie diet your daily values may be higher or lower depending on your calorie needs god damn ingredients salt product of the USA now I'm not surprised by that I guess but I was kind of hoping it would be a product of Israel 
that you can't have everything, eh? Visit us at www.davidskosher.com Packaged exclusively for Flavored Delight with a D-E-L-I-T-E Palm Beach Gardens, Florida 334110 Info at com. We've got a little barcode down there That's neither here nor there Um, I'm pretty sure FL's Florida. It's like, what else would it be? God dang it. Alright. Now, excuse me. There's only one more side of this soul. Kosher soul. Let's just get another look at this. Because it's pretty juicy. See that? God dang it. Let me just get a, um... See if we can get a nice caption here. No, it's probably not going to come through. Alright, whatever. Um, we'll have a look though, see how that turned out. Make sure to smash a comment in the comment section down below. If you've got a mad kosher salt selfie to share. Hashtag kosher salt selfie. Sabbath. Only on DOS 350 underscore legit at Twitter. Now, I've been saving the best for last. This is the juicy life story side of it. So, tap that bell button because we're going to get straight into it. But if you're not ready for that, yeah, that's okay. Because we've got a bonus section coming up here. That we got a so um, viable study. So, Starting out straight off the bat, it was written. Let me just get this here. Oh no, that's alright. I'll just lean like this. It was written. Chronicles, Second Chronicles 13.5 Ought ye not to know that the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom over Israel to David forever, even to him and to his sons by a covenant of salt? By covenant of salt? Excuse me. God damn, you don't hear that one very often. Second Chronicles. But besides that, we'll just say that. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. Don't want that to happen to you. And one more, we'll say. You're the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It's thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of man. And God damn. Alright, that was pretty juicy. So, yeah, covenant of salt. Any rabbis in this chat, make sure to smash a comment telling me what the hell is that. Because either I've forgotten or i got no idea. Don't think, like... And no covenant of soul that I've heard of besides that. So just let me know. Covenants are a pretty big deal. Alright. <laughs> Kosher soul. Alright. Life story time. See if I can get a nice shot of this. Um about as good as we're gonna get I guess the, excuse me I'll just get two hands into it because it matters excuse me all right the kosher salt difference coarse flaked and kosher this is the salt of choice for professional chefs and home cooks alike pure in taste and quick to dissolve this kosher salt is the ideal choice for cashering, br brining, and canning. I don't know what cashering is. This is kosher salt, though, just to make things a bit more clear. Smash that like and bell button for cashering, brining, and canning. And unlike other boxed salts, the easy to reseal, free flow top keeps your kosher salt just where you want it just where you want it to go and won't leave messy salt trails in your cabinets 
and pantry. God damn. It won't leave messy soft trails. They've put that in bold, like, it probably doesn't come through, but you can see some bold there. It's like, messy salt trails they decided to put in bold. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's like, I've never had a messy salt trail in my cabinet or pantry. Make sure to smash that Twitter button if you've um, had messy salt trails in your cabinets and pantry. Alright, brining, is that how you say it? It must be. Brining poultry? Brining ensures that your poultry will retain its natural moisture during the roasting process, resulting in a juicy and flavorful bird. God damn, David's kosher salt. I bet this was written by a rabbi, I'm telling you, he would have been out there reciting the law and going, Nadab begat, Aminadab begat. And then all of a sudden, hang on, we got juicy and flavorful bird flapping into the oven. Who would have thought? Start with fresh, not frozen poultry. Giblets removed and trussed. Cover with a brining solution. One cup David's kosher salt per gallon of cold water dissolved. Make sure there's enough brine to completely cover the bird. Cover with a lid or plastic wrap and brine for 8 hours or overnight in the refrigerator. When you're ready to roast, remove bird from brine. <laughs> remove bird from brine, boys. And pat dry. And roast according to package directions. Discard brining solution. You don't want to drink that. Alright. Now, I was expecting more out of that, to be honest. I didn't need any tips about messy salt trails and brining. It's like I wanted to hear some juicy rabbi stuff. Let's just get one more while we're feeling it. It says, Can that which is unsavory be eaten without salt? Or is there any taste in the white of an egg? That's a good one. Shoutouts to the man, Job. Alright. Um, well, that sums up the packet. We got brining, we got a juicy bird, and that's pretty juicy, but we don't have any tips on what is so good about kosher salt, other than that it's easy to dissolve and that it's free flowing or whatever, it's like god damn. I'm just gonna break it down for you, for anyone who hasn't read the Old Testament, it's like, you know, they didn't make a big deal about any salt, maybe some secret rabbi you know, oral traditions like and the salt, this and that, it's like save it guys, the Lord said salt is good, that's good enough for me, but it doesn't stop us from reviewing kosher salt now make sure to smash that bell button because this excuse me, salt review is going to turn into a salt unboxing exclusive all right let me just see it's got this kind of a lid so I don't I don't want it to be that free-flowing do I I mean god damn I'm just one little old guy here all right I guess I've got to push it in or something as well hang on one second please make sure to smash that follow button all right am I doing this right don't tell me I'm gonna to need to do a 350 eyeball reveal okay Okay, it's not that hard to refit, you just open and salt. It says push, right? Am I meant to remove this thing first? I don't think so, I just gotta push hard like I mean it. Okay, that got it. Alright, so as you can see the salt is open, let's see if I can just get some. God damn. Alright. We'll just place this down here for a second. Now, I got some salt in there. See if I can get a nice close up of some of these juicy granules. Whatever. 
All right, the bottom line is I'm going to need more than that 350 if I want to show it the salt. That'll be good. That's enough. All right, that's more like it. Okay, I'm getting it in my keyboard, but that's all right. It's part of the things that I have to go through as a professional YouTube review artist. Okay, that's a nice sound. Okay, so this, make sure to smash that follow button because this salt review is turning into a salt taste testing. So let's just get straight into it. God damn. That's pretty damn salty. Can everyone see that? Uh, yeah, God damn. God damn. That's pretty salty. I want to spit this out, I think. Excuse me. Alright. That was pretty damn salty. Whoa. God damn. Okay. That was just too much salt for me to handle wasn't even much. It's like, I'm a pretty salty guy. I'm always salting it up. I'm just gonna throw this on the floor. Floorboard style. No. Wow. Like, honestly, that wasn't very nice. Um, I was starting to feel the um, fast dissolve that they were talking about. But the bottom line is, it was way too salty, and I couldn't handle it. Um, Alright. For a new thing, I'm not 350 legit. I'm actually going to compare this kosher salt, covenant of salt style, to a regular goyim gentile salt. A little shaky here. Now, just straight off the bat, you can see that one's kosher, and this one is just iodized. Whoa, it was still open 350. God damn, you're splashing salt out here. Alright, I'm gonna close this to prevent any future salt uh, spillages. I've got a bit of salt on my little arm here, that's alright. I'm gonna put this down for a second while I talk about this. Now see this? Regular 90 cents salt. Now just me as a normal guy, you know, God-fearing man on earth here, I, I would prefer the Goy salt over the um, kosher. And that's just because it's too goddamn grainy, this shit. It's all chunky and it's like, god dang, I wanted to get in the nitty gritty parts of the dinner I'm having. Like this, I don't want the big old rock of salt. Himalaya, I want um, a little grain of sand stuff. And this is too rough and rugged for me, it's like, it's kosher, it dissolves fast. But you're not going to have it on your eggs, I don't think, I'd rather have this. Whoops, excuse me. Make sure to smack that like and bell button. Hashtag choose your salt. And um, yeah, let me just take some time and process, you know, what I just took in with when it comes to salt. Uh, it was pretty good and it was pretty spicy, but it's like it was too much and. It was just more than I could handle. I just had a salty dinner before, and I used the the nation's salt, um, the Coles one, and it was nice. And that was already pretty salty though. And then having that, it's like it's like ah oh, shit, that bit too much salt there, 350. But that's beyond the scope of this video. Excuse me. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Goddamn, I wish I had a drink to rinse out that 
salty taste I got happening, but it must be the Lord's work. Anyway, let's hear some more about salt. Ah, uh, it says, The waters which came down from above stood and rose up upon an heap very far from the city Adam, that is, beside Zeratan. And those that came down toward the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, failed, and were cut off. And the people passed over right against Jericho. God damn. But that isn't really salt. It's like, that's the salt sea. Let's get another one, 350. The Lord of Salt Seas, alright. Let's get one of these ones. All the heave offerings of the holy things which the children of Israel offer unto the Lord have I given thee, and thy sons and thy daughters with thee, by a statute forever. It's a. Uh, okay, there it is. It's a covenant of salt forever before the Lord unto thee and to thy seed with thee. That's lit. Covenant of salt. Right. God damn, how'd that slip through? I'm just gonna... After this next one, hang on a second. What's the... What it was written. Every oblation of thy meat offering shalt thou season with salt. Let's just get a close up of this. While I repeat that, it was written. It was written. Every oblation of thy meat offering shalt thou season with salt. Neither shalt thou offer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from my meat offering. With all thine offerings thou shalt offer salt. That's a good one. It's like someone says, you don't need salt on that, you just say, hang on, it says all thine thou shalt offer salt, all thine offerings thou shalt offer salt. Didn't you hear that? Written 4,000 years ago. This will be on the scope of this video. Alright, yeah, see look, I don't know how much that kosher salt cost. It was a gift, and um... I'm not gonna ask, but it was probably more than four times what the other one cost. How much was it? It was like 450 grams or something. And it's all chunky. Yeah, look, it's alright. I'm sure it'll get the job done. It's not like it's not salty. It's gonna be trodden underfoot or anything like that, but it's, um, hard to get the quantity right, I guess, because it's so chunky, and it dissolves fast. I guess it's probably is like, hey, it is good for cooking, whatever. I don't care about that, though. I just want salt on uh, something that someone cooked for me, you know what I mean? Or for um, eggs. That's just the kind of guy I am. And, yeah, it's not a big deal. If some rabbi wannabe comes up and tells you, taps you on the shoulder, Hey, hey, don't you know? It's like, shut up for a second. Kosher salt isn't a big deal, you piece of shit. They just made it up. It, it is what it is. Like, it's good for cooking and it's, um, got the, got the name, but it wasn't in the scriptures or anything. There was never a law in the, you know, in Moses saying, Thou shalt have your salt and bless it in the name of uh, Jehovah, or anything like that. They just said, I'm going to have the salt with thine offerings. And that's, that's good enough for me. Um, so don't be tricked when it comes to kosher salt. There's no rule. Someone says, hang on, is that, is that salt kosher? Is, it co is that salt kosher? 
tell them shut up and go and have a you know holiday don't want to hear about it but that's beyond the scope of this video alrighty well we'll get you one last look at it I think that about sums it up though it's kosher salt made in USA sounding pretty delicious as to my recommendation of this product you know um maybe it's just because I just had a bad experience tasting it you know it wasn't that bad but it was damn salty it's like god damn I'll have to look how much that came through but it's like I had a fair bit of salt in there and it's deceiving because it's so chunky and I was waiting for it to dissolve it like half dissolved quickly and then didn't completely I don't want to be too much detail but like I wasn't feeling it um yeah I don't know if I can recommend it it's um it's it's nothing wrong with it like but just imagining the cost of it and it's like you don't even get as much as you do with the other ones and it's more difficult it's meant for cooking or whatever it's like I don't think this is the salt for me and that's just the kind of guy that I happen to be so <laughs> um, to say not recommended you know, it doesn't bring me much pain, but it kind of is a bit of a letdown. But don't get me wrong, it's not that I'm not happy to have this salt, because little old salt of the nations here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's pretty low. It's like, it's only, I use a bit of salt. It's like, I've had this for a while, but it's only got another couple of months worth of salting left in it. And um, it will be interesting to see whether I will be able to tolerate using this as my daily driver when it comes to salt so maybe do a follow-up video and you know by the time that other one runs out we'll see how we go make sure to smash the description comment and the bell button if you want to see that as much as i do um yeah that's it kosher salt not recommended sadly but it's it's justified by it's not bad it's just there's no point in it unless you're some kind of cooking freak that's brining chicken and birds all the time and juicy oven birds and uh whatever else there was and that's definitely not me um but that's um good to know about the covenant of salt it's not just pretend, it's like, didn't you know it was given to him and his sons forever by a covenant of salt? It's like, god damn, yeah, I know now, and I'm not going to forget it. That's back to back. That's in, um, I'm going to look, actually, I said I would, so I'm going to, if I can type with these mittens on, let me just get the salt of the earth out of here. Um, alright, uh, what is it? Alright. Covenant of salt. We're going to be direct. Covenant of salt. Okay, that's it. It's only two times that it's written. So that's 18 numbers, 19, and um, 2 Chronicles 13, 5. And that's just the way it is. That's what the Lord spake, if you know what I'm saying. Yep, sad to say I can't say slap it in the trolley, but god damn, that's just the way it goes. Make sure to slap a dapper dapper on that like button and the bell for more 350 kosher salt news and updates. Until the next video, I like to say 350 out. Shalom.